<laughs> All right. Hello, my name is Everett, and today I'm gonna to be going over the common internet controversy, which is premix and two strokes and all that, specifically with motorized bikes. And this is, this is not bad for it. This is not uh, a crazy mod that you have to do. This is someone anyone can do. It's cheaper, it's easier, it's faster, it's better for the engine and it's life. And they don't tell you why you need to do this. So from the factory, these things, most of the manuals say break in period 16 to one uh, or 18 to one. And after that use 20 to one. This is an 80cc or a 66, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to go over this now in case anyone doesn't actually know what a two stroke is and how it works. So if, uh, if you don't, if you already know what a two stroke is, you can skip this, but blah, 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 I'll show you. So a two stroke, instead of a four stroke, like in the name, there's four strokes, the intake, compression, power stroke, and the exhaust stroke. I had to think for a second. Second, sorry. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's the, that's what people will call it. A two stroke, there's only two strokes. The like intake and compression are combined in one stroke and the power stroke and exhaust stroke are combined in another stroke. So every second stroke, it's making power. So there's no valves, there's no camshaft, there's none of that. So in order to compensate for that, they have to mix oil into the gas so that it actually lubricates the piston and the cylinder because there's no uh, oil in the crankcase because it doesn't need it because it didn't have a cam or anything like that. Um, it's, it's very simple. So you just, you need lubrication in the gas to compensate for not having a cam and valves and rods and lifters and all that kind of thing. So, yeah. And I put in, I am now putting in 32 to one. Um, I use Lucas two cycle, um, just two stroke oil, just regular Lucas two stroke oil. Um, I would suggest using semi synthetic or full synthetic. It's just better for your engine. I use it in my dirt bike and I use it in here. So far it's been great. When I got the thing, I was running 16 to one. As soon as I put it together, run 16 to one, great. It's not horrible for the engine. It's brand new. I'm going to do what the manual says. So I would suggest still breaking it in quite rich like that. I don't, I, I don't really think it's necessary, but I would still suggest doing it just because that's what it says and you should probably do it. So for the first two or three tanks, just run 16 to one. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to do anything horrible to the engine, but running 20 to one, which is what most of them will tell you after it's been broken in, so two tanks, is actually not good at all for your engine. And here's why. So there's a couple of reasons why. One of them is that you're gonna foul with spark plugs. This is not something you wanna do because you just don't wanna keep buying spark plugs and cleaning them over and over. It just gets really annoying. Um, the other reason that it's bad is because it's gonna cost a lot to use this oil, this stuff's expensive and you can't even get it in California and some states. I live in BC, so I can still get it. Um, but when you mix the gas, it's gonna, you're gonna be paying, I don't know how much these are, like quite expensive, but you're gonna be paying a lot for, for oil if you're using 20 to one. And for the amount I ride this, I commute to different places with this. And for the amount that you ride, it's gonna start adding up, especially since I also use 93 or 94 premium fuel just because it's good and doesn't clog the carburetor as much. Another reason is that it's oil is going to be dripping out of your exhaust. The carbon deposit is going to be horrible, not only for the exhaust and for oil dripping all over the ground, but your, your cylinder and your piston are also going to have huge carbon deposits that are not good for your engine at all. So you do not want to be running 16 or 20 to one in your engine for more than just the break in period. I'm going to be showing you the main benefits of using either a 32 to one or a 40 to one mix in one of these. So number one, you make way more power and you wake and you make way more RPM and you can cruise at a higher speed. The second I put, uh, I finished my second tank of 16 to one. I mixed 32 to one. The second I put the 32 to one in, it instantly revved 
a lot higher without sound, sounding like it was gonna die. And it cruised at a nicer speed. It didn't sound gurgly. That was the other thing. When I gave it full throttle and it got higher in the RPMs, it would be really gurgly. It does not do that anymore. It really, now that I'm thinking back to it, when I was using 16 to one, it was super choked, like way too rich. Engine um, was not at its full potential whatsoever. It was not good for it. Um, using 32 to one, it's way more opened up. It's like it had some sort of carb restriction like they do in NASCAR to limit the engine's horsepower. It actually felt like that after trying the 32 to one. I had no idea what I was missing. Now people are gonna tell you, oh, this is bad for your, for your cylinder, for your piston. It, it actually isn't. So, and often to be safe because they don't want consumers um, who don't know exactly what they're doing, putting straight gas in or some super lean mix, like a 50 or 60 or like a 90 to one, like some race bikes might use. They don't want people doing that. So they just make it super safe. And they say, oh, just put 16 to one and 20 to one in. And if you do that, you are guaranteed that it's gonna run and last longer than if you were to put a super, super lean mix in, which people not knowing, unless the instructions say, would uh, that's what they would tell you to do. So by putting the 32 to one in, you're not only gaining power, gaining a cruise speed, gaining a RPM, and gaining your climbing ability, you're also gaining the longevity of the engine because you're not gonna have huge carbon buildup in the exhaust, you're not gonna have uh, over, ex overly excessive carbon buildup in the cylinder or the piston, and you're not gonna be fouling spark plugs, sorry, and doing that stuff to your engine. But the key to using 32 to one or a 40 to one mix um, is to get a really high quality two-stroke oil. But your key is to find a semi-synthetic or a full synthetic. If don't get a don't get a regular one, get the get the nice oil because even though I did say, you know, using 16 to one or 20 to one, we'll be using a lot. 32 uh, to one or a 40 to one won't be using as much. And the reality is this thing costs a dollar to fill the tank up. It's a half gallon. Like it's not, it gets how many miles per gallon? I don't even know a lot. <laughs> don't abuse the thing. Don't keep it pinned in the mat, like where the RPMs just kind of stop and they, they taper away. Don't keep it there for an excessive amount of time because no matter what mix you'll be using, you're gonna fry your engine. So I wanna debunk that you have to use 16 to one or a 20 to one mix. It's not necessary. It's worse for your engine than using a 32 or, or a 40 to one with a good quality oil. You will make, again, total power upgrade. I have done no mods to this thing other than drilling a couple holes in the intake box just for a little extra power, but I haven't really noticed a huge difference. It's just a nice thing to do. Most effective way to make more power and to have your engine last longer and to be better in general is to put nicer 32 or 40 to one mix in here. If, uh, if you liked the video, feel free to thumbs up or leave a comment. I reply to most or all of my comments. Um, feel free to leave some feedback, some suggestions, questions. So anyway, that's all I got time for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.